Hey, it's the Refine Reseller. I'd like to thank you for tuning in today. I hope this finds you well. Today, I'd like to talk about something I'm very passionate about, and that is vintage rock and roll concert tour t-shirts. You know, I've been going to concerts now for about 45 years. I remember my first concert ever. It was Peter Frampton in 38 Special. That's when Peter Frampton had out his live album. It was probably still one of the best concerts I've ever been to. I was a disc jockey for a while, so I got to go to just a lot, a lot of concerts, and I bought t-shirts. I kept them. A lot of them, I wore them out. Unfortunately, I don't have very many anymore, but I do have a couple. But uh, i just like to show you what they go for. Some go for some really high prices, but before we get started, just let me tell you how you can tell a vintage t-shirt from a reproduction. The easiest way to do it is to look at the stitching. If you look at the stitching and there is a single stitch line, that means it was produced before the 1990s. In the 1990s, they started doing a double stitch line. So if you find a shirt with a double stitch line, it's questionable whether or not it is a vintage or a reproduction. More than likely, it is a reproduction. So keep that in mind whenever you're looking at purchasing some of these. So let's get started. The first t-shirt is from 1974. This is an Elton John tour t-shirt that sold for $99.95. To be honest with you, I'm surprised it didn't sell for more. I was a big Elton John fan back in the day. My first Elton John concert was in 1981. I've probably seen him 10 times. So this T-shirt has Elton John, it has uh, his band members, Davy Johnstone, Dee Murray, and Nigel Olsen, and of course you have Bernie Taupin, who wrote all of the songs for Elton. I'm kind of surprised that this T-shirt didn't sell for more. I've never seen this before. This was 1974, before Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. So, uh, you know, again, just a, just a great looking T-shirt. And somebody, in my opinion, got a deal on this. I definitely would have paid that price for that T-shirt. All right, next, another 1970s t-shirt. This is 1976, Leonard Skinner America Tour. This uh, sold for $280. Uh, one thing to note about this shirt, it is a Winterland Productions t-shirt. It's the name on the t-shirt, the manufacturer. And that was a company that did a lot of the t-shirts back in the day. So always look for that name, Winterland Productions. Okay, next up is this 1978 Black Sabbath, of course, Ozzy Osbourne tour t-shirt. It has some really nice graphics on the front. There is nothing on the back of the shirt, but this t-shirt sold for $800. And I think the reason is because right after this tour, the band broke up and they didn't play again until 19 years later. And, you know, again, that's probably why the, the price is so high at $800. Next up, another t-shirt from the 1970s. This is a 1979 Led Zeppelin Nebworth Festival, and it sold for $649. Again, probably the reason this went so high is that this was 1979. This was probably one of the very last concerts that John Bonham played in. Of course, he passed away in 1980. And what's really cool is that you can go on YouTube and you can watch the entire Nebworth concert. And it's pretty amazing. You know, in my opinion, Led Zeppelin is the best rock and roll band that ever existed. And if you go back and you watch this concert, you will see why. All right, next up is this Yes t-shirt from 1979. It's the Yes Tour of Americas, and it sold for $195. Now, I've got one more from the 1970s. This is 1978, 1979 Rush Tour of the Hemispheres, and this one sold for $185. All right, now let's get into uh, the 1980s, Pink Floyd. Uh, this is the Wall Tour. Uh, this was a great tour. Back in the day, Pink Floyd was, was an awesome band. And this t-shirt sold for $469. I've never seen this one before. I have seen, you know, a lot of different Pink Floyd t-shirts. There's a lot of reproductions out there. Of course, this is not a reproduction. This is an original t-shirt, and uh, it went for $469. Next is this 1981 Rolling Stones concert uh, tour t-shirt, and it sold for $300. And one of the reasons I'm showing you this particular t-shirt is that I think that's the Superdome on the front. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. If you look on the back, they did make a, 
a stop in 1981 uh, in New Orleans, and I was at that concert. It was a crazy day. The, the Superdome was filled with probably 50,000 people, and uh, they actually played two concerts there, back-to-back -back days, and uh, that was just an incredible, an incredible concert. Next up is another Rolling Stones uh, t-shirt. This one from 1980. This one sold for $500. And again, just another cool, you know, t-shirt. The Rolling Stones actually played in New Orleans again about four months ago. And a good friend of mine took his son to go see uh, the Stones and they really enjoyed that concert. Next up is this Kiss t-shirt and it sold for $259. It's from 1984, and I really believe one of the reasons that it sold for that much is because this was on uh, Kiss's Animalize tour, and at this point in their uh, career, they had unmasked, and um, you, you know they, they no longer wore all the makeup and everything, so this is from 1984, and it sold for $259. Next is this 1985 Motley Crue uh, t-shirt, and it is from the Texas Theater of Pain tour. It sold for $550. I'm not really familiar with that tour. I was really not a big Motley Crue fan. I've never seen them. You know, I've seen Kiss. I saw Kiss 20 years ago, and I actually had tickets to go see Kiss uh, about six weeks ago, but of course the tour was canceled because of what's going on. And uh, they're supposed to come back and play that concert sometime in October. Hopefully everything will be back to normal then and I'll get to see Kiss. You know, I haven't seen him in 20 years, so it's always a fun concert. Okay, now let's go to the 1990s and I'm gonna talk about some bands whose t-shirts sell for a lot of money. The very first one is Nirvana. This is from the 1990s. It's from the In Utero Tour. And this one sold for $250. Of course, Kurt Cobain, uh, you know, died. I don't know how much, uh, you know, how further along it was before he passed away. But this is a very collectible shirt. And again, it sold for $250. Next is this Pearl Jam 1990s Window Pane Tour t-shirt. You know, it's got some pretty cool graphics on it. Uh, it is Pearl Jam. They were a very popular band, of course, in the 1990s. And this one sold for $199. Next is this 1994 Eagles Hell Freezes Over Tour. And it sold for $175. Now, that was in 1994, so that was 26 years ago. And I went to this concert. It played in my hometown. It was the very last stop on their Hell Freezes Over Tour. I've seen a lot of bands in my lifetime, but there's nothing like the Eagles four-part harmony. I mean, when they sing together, it is just incredible.
rock and roll. You've got to love it. I love it so much. I play in a rock and roll band. We do cover songs. We do play Leonard Skinner. We play the Rolling Stones and other bands like that. Some Led Zeppelin. It's a lot of fun. And, you know, getting a rock and roll t-shirt or selling one is kind of like passing on a piece of history to somebody else. Music is uh, one of my passions. I love it. I hope you do too. Hey, listen, if you'd like to check out my eBay store, it is definitely a maybe. So check it out and see what I have for sale. And as always, this is a refined reseller saying buy low, sell high. And if you like this video, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.